Hello and welcome back my beautiful people to the Curtis Price channel, the channel where we can talk about any sort of topic and still manage to make you people laugh. There are sweet sweet moments that's happened in my life that I cherish most. I mean for example like the time I hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> That hasn't happened yet. You know, we are going into a second lockdown here in Wales, and uh, I haven't been laid since before April. But, uh, I mean, it's lucky we got the sheep to keep me company, am I right? But today's topic isn't about sheep and my genitals. Today is once again about TikTok. However, today is more of a serious topic. Diving more into the darker side of TikTok. The poor and stupid decisions people make. The influential world negatively influencing people. The kids of our generation. Now you might consider me a 20 year old kid, but I'm pretty sure my erectile dysfunction says differently. Why did I sound proud of that? But I mean, it's something I don't need to share with you said the fat cunt with a Big Mac. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, what brings you here today is a TikTok trend known as the Benadryl Challenge. Now on TikTok, there are many challenges trending every week. However, there was something a lot more lethal about this challenge. Something that was different to the casual WAP dance. Something that would appear to be fatal to those who attempted it. So together, let's explore it. From the idiotic challenges to the massive donuts who would attempt it in the first place. Get comfy. This is about to get real strange. Well, parents, there's a new TikTok challenge that you really need to be aware of, and it's called the Benadryl Challenge. That has reportedly gone viral on a social media platform, TikTok. It's an over-the-counter drug that is used frequently, but it's being abused in this challenge for its side effects. Last week, a 15-year-old girl died from an overdose of Benadryl. The dose that can cause a hallucination is very close to the dose that can cause something potentially life-threatening. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I really need followers. <laughs> but listen up everyone, we are on 70,000 subscribers and with your guys' help, we might actually be able to get to 80,000 by the end of this month. I need to prove to my mum that YouTube is a viable thing for me, so please subscribe. <laughs> so firstly, what is Benadryl? Benadryl, also known as diphenhydramine, is an antihistamine mainly used to treat allergies. It can also be used for insomnia, symptoms of the common cold, tremor in Parkinsonism, and also flu. It can be consumed either through the mouth, injection to the vein, injection to a muscle, or applied to the skin. Maximal effect is typically around two hours after a dose, and effects can also last up to seven hours. And that's just one dose. Now after reading that, you know, I would say that it's quite serious medication, but of course, you know, TikTok tend to ignore that. The trend known as Benadryl Challenge, where an individual will consume up to 10 of these pills in order to experience a hallucination trip. Now, I think taking 10 of anything that you don't really know anything about is probably a bad idea. But before we actually get into the challenge and talk about what happened to the people, uh, who actually thinks it's a good idea to take lots and lots of pills? I mean, there are loads of TikToks out there of people literally advising not to do this challenge. A TikTok trend told me to take 10 Benadryls to feel hallucination. <laughs> I mean, a TikTok trend told you to do that. Uh, if your dad told you to stick his head in the washing machine, would you do it? I suppose it would be a shame if your stepbrother turned up then, wouldn't it? But now I would like to present Exhibit A of someone taking Benadryl and showing their experiences of what they were feeling at the time. Wow, I can imagine this is going to be amazing, everyone. I can't wait. So I have took 10 Benadryls and chiefed the fuck my brother, brother's pen just to feel something. Um, I think that she was extremely high and that she couldn't type properly, um, which is what usually happens when you take um, drugs. However, uh, what's usually not supposed to happen is this. Update one, I feel really weird. I'm really tired, but I hear you have to overcome the tiredness to feel high and I feel it kind of, I don't know. This is dead ass update two, but whatever. It's a dead ass like two minutes after, but my body, it feels like half of me is like sinking into the bed, like falling asleep, but the other half is like pulling. It's like pulling myself up, but I feel it. I don't know. It's weird. So I don't know if it worked or not, but I'm hella tired. And my chest just hurts. Like, it feels really heavy and it gets a shock. And then that just makes me drop my arm or just like stop what I'm doing. It's weird. How many fucking times am I going to say it's weird? It's weird. Like, bitch, I know it's weird. Bro, I keep spazzing. It's crazy. Like, my chest really hurts, and then my, I, my fucking arm spazzes. What do I do? I don't want to feel this. Feeling chest pains, extremely tired, and constantly spazzing. That, 
doesn't sound right. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what kind of human would want to experience these kind of symptoms. Maybe someone who wants their own heads and vaginas to explode. I mean, it's TikTok. Come on. I really am hoping that my kid comes home from school one day and says to me, Hey, Dad, guess what? We just drugged Tony Spaghetti Bolognese with horse tranquilizer for a TikTok challenge. Avocadabra. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my son blown to smithereens. <laughs> Pieces of bollock flying everywhere, you know, all about that stuff. However, ladies and gentlemen, the girl we just witnessed woke up the next day and she said she was okay, but she did not recommend it. I mean, you just have to be short of a few brain cells to even try this challenge in the first place. But, hey yo. I mean, it literally says on the article, taking too much Benadryl can kill you. Clearly, some people read that as, yeah, huh, go ahead, tick 10 of them. <laughs> that condition is known as dyslexia. It's nothing funny and I'm raising awareness. But sadly, my very smart friends who won't drug themselves, one girl unfortunately did lose her life due to this challenge. A 15 year old Oklahoma girl died last week after she overdosed on the antisetamine Benadryl. The girl was taking part in a so called Benadryl challenge, a new game in which teens on TikTok are encouraged to take as many algae pills as needed in order to hallucinate or trip out. So that is unfortunate. Uh, overdosing on Benadryl for a TikTok challenge. Uh, that's apparently a new game, is what uh, the article used here. Because the games that came out when I was a kid was like hide and seek. Not overdosing yourself on Benadryl. That is a bit uh, strange. And unfortunately, someone did die from it, and now TikTok are being forced to remove these videos. I mean, imagine being forced to remove them. I would have fucking removed them anyway. What are you, fucking stupid? I remember like a year ago, I was in a shop and I was buying three packs of paracetamol. The guy over the counter told me I was fucking stupid. I was like, what's that supposed to mean? But there were three teenagers that visited a hospital in one weekend due to this challenge. But yet people continue to consider this as a good idea. Slowly and maturely, I am losing my faith in humanity. I mean, people wonder the day aliens take over our Earth and how we will respond to it. Well, let me tell you, our generation will be off their faces on Benadryl, They'll see the cute little aliens and they'll want to give them a little cuddle. Just after they melt their faces off with a ray gun. And probe us. Yeah, I said that. Uh, moving on. Now, one of the kids that did the challenge did in fact respond to this by saying that it was scary. She was rushed to the emergency room after taking 14 Benadryl pills. She had fractured sentences, hallucinations. Her resting heart rate was 199 beats per minute. 199 beats per minute. The average human heart rate is like 89 beats a minute. The highest my heart rate has been is 172. And that's when I got up to walk to the fridge. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, no other than who could have done this challenge but Tana Mongu herself. She uploaded a video about four years ago explaining how she had taken part in a Benadryl challenge. Of course, it didn't exist back then, but she still took Benadryl to get high. And believe it or not, she compared it to acid and LSD. It's really not the same though, is it? Whatever you do, never take life advice from Tana Mongu because you will end up dead, to put it lightly. Acid and LSD have the intentions of making you trip. That's why they are class A drugs. Benadryl, however, are prescription over-the-counter medication that you're not supposed to overdose on. That's, that's, they don't compare. Shut the fuck up, Tana. <laughs> now this just shows that Tana Mongo is a bad influence. She claims that Benadryl is just like LSD or acid. Well, well, maybe I might go out and try some if that's the case. Let me overdose on 14 Benadryl pills if they're just like acid and LSD. No because Tanamongo is talking complete and utter fuckery. Now, this hasn't been the only challenge on TikTok that uh, people have come across. There has also been other challenges, and wait until you hear these ones. One of the challenges is known as the Holocaust Challenge, where viewers are encouraged to dress up like the concentration camp survivors. I'm sorry, but am I in hell or something? <laughs> that has to be one of the stupidest ideas I've ever heard in my life. That is a one-way ticket to get cancelled, and people are doing it. There's also something called the Fire Challenge. It is a dare game in which the participant voluntarily sets one Himself on fire for a short period of time and applying flammable liquids or igniting consumable parts on one's body and filming the outcome. I mean, that sounds like a fucking great idea. <laughs> and the reason for this challenge would be to see what the outcome is. Well, I can tell you what the outcome is, my friends. You'll light yourself on fire and you'll have third degree burns. Wow, am I right? Um, who would have thought? <laughs> But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think that concludes the situation today. Uh, I don't want to talk about this anymore because it's very sad, first of all, and uh, it just goes to prove how stupid this world is, to be honest. And it does make me question my sanity of what this world has come to. Taking Benadryl pills because it's fun, apparently. That just sounds fucking gibberish to me. That just sounds dumb as fuck. And it is. And I just said it. So yeah, without further ado, I will see you all in my next video. Peace out. Boom. Have a good day. Don't take any Benadryls. <laughs> You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.
dyslexic. These words I can't read.